day viewers and welcome to Generation C, We stands for Culture, Creation and Connection. My name is Fefu Karamata and I'm a learner at Concordia College. And my name is Tammy Junius, I'm also a learner at Concordia College. So today guys, we're going to be focusing on Concordia's culture, history and diversity. Don't forget to catch our one pager in the zone today, which can be found in the Namibian Sun, the Republican and AZ newspaper. And also remember to watch Gen Z every Thursday at 5 p.m. on GSTV channel 285 and on GoTV channel 25 and at 2 p.m. on the MyZone Facebook and YouTube page. Let's not keep our headmaster waiting. Let's, Let's go. go. Zuikoorsten, die aanbieder van Blitzfocus. Je kan Blitzfocus kijken elke woensdag op DSTV kanaal 285 of Gout TV kanaal 25. En onthou, je kan ook Blitzfocus kijken op oneup2.com. So guys, as promised, we are here with our headmaster, the most beautiful lady around Concordia and Connors. Miss, please introduce yourself. All right, uh, my name is Miss Mary Magdalene, but I don't use Magdalene. Wangote. I'm the principal of Concordia College. I've mm -hmm. been here since 2017. So I've been here now at Concordia College for about seven years. So Miss, every great thing has its own story from its beginning. So can Miss please tell us a bit about Concordia's history? Right, um, Concordia College was previously owned by Namdeb and it was mostly a school that was just um, given to the kids that were, you know, highly gifted. The kids that were performing well, in the, that is like before independence. But then after independence, every child was welcome to Concordia and the school was opened up to all the kids from all backgrounds. Uh, because it was then handed over to the government and that's when we actually also became part of Concordia. But before it was more like as if it was a privatized institution that was mo mostly only for gifted uh, learners. And the learners, when they had to come to this school, they had to write an IQ test in order for them to be admitted to the school. But that was abolished after independence and now the school is open to all learners from all backgrounds. As a principal, we all face challenges even in life. So, Ms. I want to um, I want you to tell us how do you handle conflicts and challenges within the school? Um, when it comes to conflict, you and challenges in school, it's not something that you can easily just do without you having guidance or policies that are in place. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have got the rules, we have got the policies, uh, government policies and regulations that are in place that usually help us to resolve conflict or issues that come we come across. It doesn't matter whether it's a, maybe a learner or it's a teacher um, or it's management, it's a management level. But at the same time, also personally myself, I believe that if you are a person that is uh, well vested in terms of like emotional intelligence, you are more able to actually cope with people from all backgrounds. And it doesn't matter what you face in life. I also believe that with prayer, you can easily solve conflict. But one thing for sure is that um, there's always a reason why conflict arises. So the first thing, of course, that you have to look at is that look at the background, do a complete, you know, uh, evaluation of the situation of what, what is happening or what happened. Uh, look at the parties that are involved. Um, try to find out what is really the cause of the conflict and how can you then, you know, resolve the conflict so that all parties are all happy you know and uh, there's no you don't ever take you know sides when it comes to conflict because you don't know who is right and who is wrong but whatever the cause of conflict of course you have to solve it in such a uh, a way that it's amicably resolved and all parties are happy okay mm. um well we all understand since now we talked about how you deal with the challenges at school 
Ever since you came to Concordia College, what has been your vision for the school? And do you think that you have reached and, accompl and accomplished it? My vision, uh, my passion is actually just to make sure that Concordia goes back to its former glory. Concordia used to be known as the best school ever in Namibia, top performing school in Namibia. So since I came here, we have been trying with my team of my teachers and management to really take back Concordia to its former glory. We are not yet there, but we have improved a lot. We have talked so much about Concordia College, but now I want to ask Ms. Ms. apart from being principal of Concordia College, if you had any other job, what would that be? A doctor. <laughs> I, I actually wanted to become a doctor previously. Um, um, when I was a learner, um, my passion was always to help people. Even in high school, we had a clinic at school. And um, in that clinic, I used to go and help the nurse to even bandage wounds for the for other learners. I used to ask so many questions because I just had passion in helping other people, and that is actually my passion. So when I finished high school, um, of course, coming from a disadvantaged background, no one could pay for me university. But I was fortunate enough because I did well. So the government gave me a full bursary, but then the bursaries that were being given at that time in the 1993s, um, it was mis mostly just focusing on either you become a teacher or you become a nurse because those fields were the most needed one in the country. So mm. I didn't want to become a nurse, though it was in the field where I wanted to be, I still felt like nursing. Uh -uh. So rather I then decided, I said, okay, maybe let me become a teacher, but then a science teacher. So in that way, I'm still able to work with people, to work with learners and help them also to learn something. Because my passion is always just to help someone to become a better person or just to take care of someone else. It just gives me joy to help people. Mm. So guys, this has been our chilling with the headmaster and we have learned so much from her. And we have learned that she's quite a unique person herself. Right. Um, thank you so much for this interview. Now let's head over to our culture segment. I studied medicine. I studied geology. I studied the Bachelor of Science. You start to heal people, touch patients, you touch lives, you save lives, you realize this is really what you want to do and you never get tired. Having graduated from the University of Namibia, I was able to open my own law firm and help people attend to their legal problems. Let's do the things that must be done and make it great. If you want to do it, just do it. That's what I wanted to do. So the sky is the limit. My unum, my pride. This is our group. We are from Concordia College, the school that you see behind us. Yay. It's a school situated in Hockland Park in Windhoek. We are about to show you a bit of our school, what you can expect, the people you can expect to meet. We hope you do come visit us one day because we are expecting to meet you and welcome you with all arms. Thank you. Just quickly. The coolest teacher ever. The coolest teacher in Concordia College. Mr. K, how does it come that Concordia College is part of the UNESCO program? Uh, uh, we applied. Uh, normally there are procedures that are followed. Uh, the UNESCO as a head office here in Windhoek or the Windhoek cluster uh, select uh, different schools to become members of the UNESCO schools. So we call it the UNESCO associated schools. 
As mentioned before, you are on Concordia College School grounds. The building behind me is the admin block where we have the five HODs, head of department for languages, etc. If you will come with us, we will show you a few pictures of historic people who were at the school and now are famous. This is Amarantia Esther Huizen. She was the netball coach a few years back. We didn't find her here, but we heard she left quite a legacy. Over here, we have Frankie Fredericks, who is well known all over Namibia for his athletic sports and taking part in everything that he could have achieved. Above there, on my right, we have pictures of the principals that have dated back since 1984 to today's 2008 up to 2011. He is still our current principal, Mr. E. Kachariwa. We will see him later shortly. Um, hi, good day. I'm Mrs. Uh, CY January. I'm the secretary of Concordia College. Can you give us a, a bit of history of Concordia and for how long have you been here? Um, really, uh, Concordia's history is very tight. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All I know that uh, Concordia is, uh, is, is the first principal started in 1983. He just he was only here for one year. Then he died in a car accident. And then in 1984, we had Mr. Barber. He was the second principal. Um, after him was Ms. Van Royen, who was the acting principal. She was also the vice principal of Concordia. Yeah. <laughs> and how do the learners of the school react to German? How do they enjoy? How do they learn German from you? Um, it's different with each learner. Actually, most of them, I have a few that love German. I have this ones that have lost interest in German since they believe German is difficult. Uh, but most of them enjoy it quite a lot. But well, I, the thing is, most of them are actually afraid to speak the language. Yeah. <laughs> and you were also in Germany. How, was it, how do you remember it to be like? Ah, it was a great experience. I think that was an experience of a lifetime. Through my studies and sports, I got to know a lot of people in Germany. Um, I'm still in contact with them. Actually, they actually helped me with whatever I need, all the German materials that I get from Germany, I get from the people that I go to know that side. So that was actually one experience that I'll never forget. <laughs> and you enjoy teaching German? Yeah, I do. I really, really do. Even though it's so stressful at times, especially when I feel like I understand something and my learners don't. So I always expect them to understand it as well. So when they don't, and I explain it over and over again, I kind of get stressed up. <laughs> the first word in German that you learned? <laughs> uh, it was to count. Actually, I, before I went to Germany, I didn't know any German, but I could count till seven. And we knew all the naughty words from the streets, but we didn't. To our lesson next, where swag meets romance. If you're looking for something fun, something quirky, something exciting, you know, a different take on blind dating, quite literally, I would suggest that you tune in for a whole lesson next every Friday at 5 pm on DZV 285 and Godly 25. And you might be next, I guess. Um, I'll do. Um, can you maybe help me out? I'm writing an article and I need some help. Do you know how to spell exaggerate? Yes, I can help with that. Uh, E-X-A-G-G-E-R-A-T-E. -E. Exaggerate. And you would have known this if you watch Straight Talk.
Straight Talk is the smart youth show where the metal of primary school learners are tested in gruelling spelling bees and the arguments of high school learners will be challenged and dismantled in rigorous debate. This year we start off with an Afrikaans spelling bee season. Phariseeisme, a hypocritische houding, vooral in morele contexten. F A R I S E I met a deal token S M E. And later this year, we will assess the English spelling prowess of the learners. Next season, we will bring the burning political questions to schools all over the country for debate to show Namibia what the youth has to say. Never miss an episode every Tuesday at 5 p.m. on NTV. Thanks, Aldu. Um, I really appreciate it, but uh, I need some more help, please. Can you help me spell another word? Hi, <laughs> Zoe. Just watch Straight Talk every Tuesday at 5 on DSTV 285 and GoTV 25. Welcome back viewers, my name is Hifu Karamata and I'm here with LRCs of Concordia College. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to see what our LRCs have in store for us. We'll kindly let them introduce themselves before we start with the questions. We'll move to the, deputy, the head boy. Hi everyone, my name is Chinel Kwangoseb, I'm the head boy of Concordia College. And then we'll kindly move on to our deputy head girl. Hi everyone, my name is Bruna Rodriguez and I am the deputy head girl of Concordia College. Now we will move on to our two LRCs. My name is Iguatera Kamiangona and I'm the head of discipline. Hi everyone, my name is Dilokewa Haiveka. I am the head of entertainment. Right, so now we will begin with the questions that we have for our LRCs. First question is, what is your experience so far as being an LRC, or being a part of this wonderful team in Concordia College? Head boy? Okay, being an LRC has honestly been a very humbling and very exciting experience at the same time. It's very exciting because you get to work with different individuals, taking different perspectives, and I'm a debater, so I like have, taking perspectives into, uh, into, co into practice, and I also love working with other people because I'm part of the Junior Council. And the humbling part is it really humbles you and brings you down to earth as in your capabilities, what you know and what you need to learn. And it's also very humbling in the type of way of the men in which you work with people. So that's my experience. Thank you for that wonderful, um, that wonderful input. We'll move now to the deputy head girl. Um, being an LSE, I have learned a lot this year. I have learned that we should be exemplary at all times because everything we do others will also follow that as well. I have learned a lot because we deal with different individuals from different backgrounds. I have learned how to deal with um, different people and this is an experience that I will keep with me for the rest of my life because now I'm learning already how to be a leader and not a boss. That's wonderful. We'll move on now to our head boy, I mean LRC of management. So, um, um, being an LSC is a very fun thing to do, which is also a very hard thing to do. We get through lots of um, tests and triplets, and people test us in some ways, but we walk through as a team and we do our best. It's very fun and very a teaching moment for all of us. That is wonderful. Um, being an LRG has really been a tough journey, especially because I'm impatient and I also like giving up on people when things don't go my way. But it has actually taught me a lot. Um, I've also connected with my peers on emotional topics. I've learned that you don't do things on your own and it also... I was, actually, I was actually afraid of heights, but I actually over, overcome that weakness and I also got challenged a lot with different things. As I'm learning, being an LSC is quite challenging, but also fun as well for them. My next question would be, what are some accomplishments you've achieved or let's say challenges you've faced in your academic life? 
Okay, so we all know we all, all have different challenges or plights we face when it comes to school. The common plight would be time management, how you balance your extra extracurriculars and your basic, uh, your normal academic life. That would be the challenge that I feel most of us face in the group. And also based on achievements in my academic life, I've always been within the top five learners academically. And I've always been nominated for leadership roles outside of the LRC role. So those are just a few of my achievements. Thank you, Herko, De Deputy Herko. Um, of course, there are a lot of challenges when it comes to academics because now we are LSEs and we have to create a balance between us studying and us also paying attention to our LSE duties. But then um, this has taught me how to manage my time. Yeah. Thank you, LSE. Um. Actually, I've accomplished a lot as the head of discipline. We we went through a lot with these kids at the beginning. It was hard trying to control them, trying to tell them what to do, and also trying to like focus on school while we are trying to focus on them and bring them in the straight line. But yeah, we, we came through, we accomplished a lot. Yeah, and I feel like we are doing good as LSEs right now. Okay, next LRC. Um, it actually taught me with how to deal with people because, yeah. It was such a wonderful experience. I've learned more about the Concordian College uh, LRCs. That was the end of our LRC corner. So for me and the LRCs, bye. Bye! bye. Get ready. today didn't we that was one of the best episodes thank you guys for tuning in to our episode of generation c and don't forget to catch generation c at 2 p.m every thursday on the my zone socials and at 5 p.m on dstv channel 285 and go channel 25 and also do not forget to catch our one pager in the namibian sun the republican and azf newspaper so for me and timey adios <laughs>